Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and this is Gold Hunter Playtest Episode 3. There's been quite a few version upgrades, maybe five. And they fixed some bugs, created a couple more. One of the bugs was when I deleted a single player game, it ended up over here in the multiplayer section. So I'm going to have to clean that up and delete out what is supposed to be not there. But let's jump into our saved game we had from before, and we'll see what we have going. Except, But first, we're going to watch this clip. There's been a few updates. They did a few updates that actually broke some things, and it wasn't playable. But I have just figured out how to do something. And I also figured out how not to do something. So I'm going to show you what not to do. <laughs> I hope it works again. If not, nobody's going to hear this. So we're going to run over here in our little test game that I just fired up. And we are going to buy... Do we start with the fun one, or do we start with the boring, yeah, that's a good workhorse? All right, we'll start with the workhorse, and then we'll go to the fun one. Oh, we got to buy it first. It won't let us in until we buy it. All right. Change the camera. Fire it up. Get your fingers on the right keys so you don't run into the building again. All right. So for the longest time, I drove my pickup around. And I've got maybe 30 hours on this game now, which I'm sure other people have more, but uh, I did not, with all the bugs and work that they've been doing, fixing, I just keep starting new games and run around, and I found that, you know, hey, it's a waste of time to go get gas, because I never run out before I start a new game. Well, I ran out of gas. So I bought one of these buggies, and then I couldn't figure out how to get the gas into it. So I have figured it out, and I've also figured out something else about it. Come on, back up. There we go. Let's put it right there. Shut it off. Hop out. All right. Where is it at? There it is. So it prompts you on the left E to get in. But what it doesn't tell you is you can do that with the right mouse button. Now, I don't know what that would be for, because if I get in, the seat's fine. Oh, no, it isn't. But if I change camera view, no, it isn't. It's still bugged. So I don't know what that's for, why you would want to switch the seat. And then left mouse, no, right, left mouse button swings it, right mouse button puts it back. But if you come over here, you can split half of the seat and put it back. Now, I didn't know if that was something to do with the gas cap, maybe, and I tried with the, filling it with gas. And lo and behold, oh, and this is a bug report that I put in. The hose is missing. So, they'll, now it's there. They'll, they'll get that. Uh, they have fixed the gas. All you have to do is aim at the nozzle and hit E. And you're filling up. Take E. You take it out. You still have to click down here to put the nozzle away. And it tells you I've spent $10.45 to put gas in the tank. All right. So that's how you put gas into this little buggy. I'm going to have some fun with that because normally all I do is run gold bars up and have them buy them from me. So I can throw those in there. So a uh, door needs to be open. So that's a bug. Now that I've played with the seats, I can't get in. Okay, now I can get in. 
That's not good. I broke it. All right, let's go get the other one. Well, that's what I was going to show you about the other one. I guess it does it on both of them. <laughs> now I got to walk. <laughs> you hit the gas and E at the same time and you hop out. And away goes your ride and it's at full throttle and it's still going through the woods. It. Uh, I guess it wouldn't show you on the map because it only follows you, not your equipment. But, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. So if you're watching developers, uh, that needs fixed. <laughs> okay, we're going to exit out of that. And we're going to go back. And we're going to see what's working on my game all right let's see okay i was trying to do some panning on the table which works you're closer to the pan so you can see your little gold let's see you can't have the pan up here uh, that might be a problem wasn't doing that before. Don't know why it fell through. Do I have the table locked? Yes, you have to freeze the table. It's not an option on the left, but do it anyway. Freeze the table, then you can put stuff on it. But you can't get the bucket over top of the pan. Oh, I guess you could stand clear back here maybe and put dirt in it but I well we'll try that later I've just been doing it on the ground and then picking the pan up and putting it in the water so but this is what's been bugged and let's see if it works this is where we left off and that gold bar actually it's the scale that causes a problem everything is tied to that scale and I can't take it out so we're going to give a try. Okay. It let me take the gold bar. Nothing else has fallen off the shelf. Well, let's... It's against my better judgment, but was that reading any numbers? Let's put it back on the scales. 1.765 ounces and it lets me pick it up all right let's go see if we can sell this quick one of the glitches was that gold bar wasn't staying in the back of the truck or actually that might have been when it was still tied to my scales and I took off with the truck and the gold bar stayed there Here, let's get out. Where'd it go? Uh, why am I short? All right, when this glitch happens, I save the game and it pops you back up. I don't know why I was that short. And let's run this up here. They've changed how you deal with the gold buyer and they named him. Hit E, Powie McGee's. Okay, Powie. So we're going to sell that gold bar. And does that math look right? 1.7 times 1.8. It was broken. We have 1.765 times 1850. 32.65, yep. All right, they fixed that, so we will sell. Hop back. Oh, 
Door's got to be open more, huh? Used to be able to sneak in. They fixed that, too. $21,000. We should buy something. All right. Let's go buy... This guy, we haven't used him yet. Hey, come here. Oh, getting a little glitchy on me, are ya? Huh? There we go. And they already restocked the shelf. And this is 0.5746 alpha. case the devs want to know. Now, on the prior video when I was talking about the different colored mats and what they're used for, in the game it doesn't matter. That was in real life. Just giving you some information. Not necessary for the game. So, we can buy this and... 18,000. No, we don't have enough. Probably should have bought the wave table for or the gold table first. Oh well. There we go. Cha-ching. All right, we'll put this in the truck. put it back here. I'll put it underneath maybe. Whoop. Let go of it. There we go. And we're off. I don't think the truck is as glitchy as it used to be. They're figuring things out. In one of my many restarts of the game, I have hauled the table, I've hauled the smelter, no glitchy problems. You saw that this box was rumbling and everything inside the back of the truck, but it's driving just fine. And I took a wrong turn right there. I've been running around in the timber trying to find gold with the detector to no avail. I probably have a solid hour walking through the timber and haven't heard a beat yet. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying. And Let's see. Ooh, just missed that rock. It's back. Yeah, it's just fine there. Okay, come on. Let me pick you up. All right. New toy. Neighbors are doing something. Let's put this, really doesn't matter, right here. And we will lock it in place, F. And I always test to make sure that it is locked in place by running into it. Ooh. Yeah, it didn't go anywhere. And let's open that up. Oh, no. Open it up. Okay, that's a thing. What? Oh. 
they were on my head or I was standing on them and we just couldn't see them. This one's got to get tucked way up in there. And you come over here and you hit water, power, and get my shovel out. And the shovel changes positions a lot. And I think they're still trying to figure out where they want to have it. But let's see, I'm going to stand right next to this thing. And I'm going to dig there. But see, you can't see your shovel blade, so I don't like this angle. So I'm going to reset or save. It should reset me. And then move the shovel down, which you can see it off to the side, but still doesn't help you a lot. There's a third position. Whoops. There we go. Now Get in the rhythm here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now you know my little secret. You can't rush this one too much, but you can go pretty fast. As soon as that vial goes empty or the water changes, when you can do it. Now this takes 100 scoops out of the shovel to fill up three mats. So it takes the same amount of shovels to fill a bucket. As the high banker. But it breaks it up because this one gets full faster and then you can do something else. Another one of the updates they have done is the hole I'm digging is not going to reset at night. They have now froze that so that whatever you dig out, you dig out. I don't know if they're going to add an automatic reset at a later date, like maybe every 30 days it resets, or maybe they'll give us a reset key. Not sure. All I know is when you make a hole now, it's going to stay. We're getting close. Mats are full. Alright, so let's go over here. Power. Water. Roll this up, roll this up, roll this up. Where's my... Why do I have number four highlighted? Uh, I need a bucket. Where's my bucket? Yeah, let's put it over here. Just leave it right there. I don't like that you can see ground through the bottom of the bucket. So the devs need to do a little work on that and make it so you cannot see through the bottom of the bucket until you put dirt in it, and then I want to see the dirt. And when I say dirt, I mean, in this case, concentrate. There we go. That was something else I had found. I'm going to show you that. Oops, go the right direction. 
So we're going to pan out this half bucket. So once you're on the table with the pan and the wash tub and you hit F, now you're right here and you get a little dinky thing and it kind of goes through the table but when we get done and I think the new mechanic is to swirl it in real world you would rock back and forth and then you would swirl the water around to expose the gold which would be down along the edge but as usual the devs want me to work for my gold come on Oh, come on. I just want to show something else. Hurry up. All right, well, I'll be back when I get this one done. Wow, that took forever. And the last one here hopefully will be easier to do. I could come back here a little bit and then swing around. All right, we're going to move the pan. So I'm going to pick it up. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. The two gold pieces stayed there. And I'm going to drop it here. Maybe you're not supposed to pan on the table. Oops, that was the wrong key. There we go. Maybe that's the problem. All right, let's get it off the table. Maybe that was a bad idea. Well, it still doesn't want to give me the gold piece. I'll be with you when it finally pops. There it is. My goodness. All right. So let's put these in jar number four. And that's something that I want to show you. And I'm going to pick it up and put it back on the table. Well, maybe I will. Oh, I've got the jar highlighted. Huh. I used to be able to pick this up and the gold did not fall out of it. So there's a thing that needs to be looked into. All right, so let's highlight four. And we can't crouch. They took that away from us. And it's highlighted F to pick it up. I can see these real good. There we go. And let's put that. Well, that will be gold piece number three and four. Now that we're in a shadow, you can see that there's two pictures for each piece of gold. Notice that there's a stationary, what I'll call crayon tan for this big piece of gold. And the picture of gold is floating all over the place because of the water slosh. You want to focus on that little crayon picture. And you can see that it turns into a circle becomes hollow and that's when you can pick it up I have my J 
jar highlighted now. Why won't it let me pick it up? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. E and F. This one is F to collect. Same thing with that one. You can see how little it is, but I still have it circled. You can also tell because the F and collect come up on the left side of the screen. And we'll get that one. Yeah, I missed my turn. What did I hit? Trees don't have collisions. Ah, power poles have collisions. Okay, so eleven thousand dollars. What are we going to buy next? Got that, got that. I think we've got everything up to here. Time to get a gold table. Oh, I can't afford it yet. 18,000. Well, well, let's go put it over here. I don't know if it'll stay here and wait for me or not. Right there. 18,000. All right. I need to get some more money. And I'll be back with you when I have $18,000 and we can play with our new toy. Sound like a deal? All right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I decided I'm gonna be panning or digging through the night, so I better have some light. They do have the day-night cycles working now, so you suppose this will be enough? I have to get this off of here. They'll probably restock it now. $349? Well, I want it. I also want to buy a bed. I haven't tried the bed yet. We are just going to try all new kinds of things. The first video, part one and two, I made where I had tried everything. Well, this is going to be a trial and error video right here. We're going to try the tent, too. I saw that there was an update to the tent. It was kind of tiny before, so we'll see what it does now. Let's put it on the bed. And $627. Hi. Ching. So if I grab the bed right here, no, nope, I didn't think I was going to get it, but I thought I'd try. And I need to rotate and drop. Come on. I need to back up just a little. No, I want you. level. There we go. Well, I thought it was level. It's level-er. There we go. We're in the truck bed. There we go. All right. Let's get the tent. And the backlight stays on. It should go off, in my opinion. And the light. I suppose the light will stand up if we put it on the bed. We'll give it a try. It 
it's there. Let's see what happens. Oh, I gotta open the door this way. Get in. Change the camera. Start. Brakes off. Let's go. Oh, I didn't set the brake. Yeah. See, I think they fixed the truck and the items because you can you can get kind of crazy with your packing now. Oh, guess what? That's a telephone pole. Or a light pole, I mean. Leave it to me to find one with a collision. Alright, here's zero. Let's pull up here. Eh, let's put that. Alright, step one. Tent. Unfold. Open. Well, I don't think it's big enough to put the cot in. It gives you a sleep trigger, so you could sleep in that instead of, excuse me, instead of the camper. But that's not going to work. All right, let's grab the light off the top. That's going to go over there in a second. We'll set it right there for now. Let's take the cot out. Put that over here. Hung up on the tent. Oh! We have a collision with something. The fire has a collision clear over here. It sure does. Can we get the cot underneath? Yeah, we can. Okay, but I don't want the... I mean, it's cute to have it sit the Well, it'll be out far enough. Let's put the head right there. And now the trigger for that door isn't clear over here. So we can sleep trigger with the bed as well. Or we can sleep trigger... Oh, that was a little close. Or we can sleep trigger on the door. Different options. All right, let's bring this over here. Whoops. And put this, where do I want to put it? Right there. And I think I need to freeze it the way it was dancing there. And Oh my. Well, I'm going to start shoveling, and when it gets dark out, I'll bring you back and show you what that light looks like at night. Get the mats rolled out. So I'm going to dig a hole, and I'll be back with you when it's nighttime. Okay, well, it's not dark yet, but we do have a full jar, so come on, open up. There we go. Let's make... Oh. My cursor is up in that right corner again, causing problems. There we go. All right, we have a full jar, so let's make a bar. Let's see, four and F drops it. E to pick it up. Doesn't matter if it's right side up or upside down. I don't even think it has to be over it. You just highlight it through it. Click E. And now we'll pick it up with four with F, and it's empty, so that means if I pick up this, oh yeah, we can see gold in there. All right, let's put it in there, and it's melted. Now we look at the mold through 
and actually we can I can't see the but I could got a a prompt on the left side of the screen there E to fill yep it took it I'm gonna drop the crucible there it's cold pop it come on and what's it weigh whoops it's a secret <laughs> Five and a half ounces. Nice. So, I'm going to run into town and sell that. And see what we got. That is the first time I've seen the truck rolling without the emergency brake on. Almost as bad as the buggy taking off on me. Um, oh, I need to borrow gold out of the back end. And I wrote a suggestion to the devs that we should have either some sort of a bag or a briefcase to hold multiple gold bars in. And then we can just hold the briefcase up in front of him like this, like we would a jar. And then we could pick from what bars of gold in the briefcase we wanted to sell. So we'll see if they do that. Ooh, $10,000. Sell. We have $21,000. I am going to invest in that table. And we'll set the table up since it's not dark yet. Oh, yeah, they put it back on the shelf because I left it right here. <laughs> That's fun. It was right here, wasn't it? And now it's gone? Maybe they only have a few. There might be a shortage. Well, that's kind of a thing. Now, that's done that to me twice now glitched in the same two positions that needs to be looked at all right eighteen thousand dollars easy come chiching easy go all right so why won't I pick it up huh all right, uh, why couldn't I pick it up over here? It has to be on the front panel of this box. Devs, you might want to adjust that. I think it should be anywhere on any of the edges of the box. Um, that's a new thing. Why can I push the truck? It's never done that before. Uh, let's see, we'll rotate that just a little bit. Huh. Okay, see you back at the claim. Well, I'm not sure quite what happened here, but I lost my audio, so I will have to talk through it again. Shoveled through the day. Got a little bit of a hole going. Turned the light on. I'm not sure if I really like the light, but it it's kind of bluish, greenish, I'm not sure. I guess it's not too bad, but trying to throw dirt in that pan, it's really obnoxious, the reflections.
try it in a different spot here if I can get it set down. And it's not completely dark, but I thought I would try it. And why couldn't I pick up dirt? I don't know, but I did. But yeah, there's way too much stuff going on in that pan. You can't see where the dirt's going, where you're aiming. That graphic needs to be adjusted for nighttime viewing. And that framework where you would pick it up, that shouldn't be there when you're shoveling. All that highlighted skeleton work of the machinery should not be there. If you have a shovel in your hand, you should be shoveling. I'm going to fill up a jar and then I will get back with you. See you in a bit. We now have a full bucket and rather than pan it out, I thought I would get the gold table going and we're going to sleep to a new morning. And we're going to use the gold table rather than panning. The graphic for the water doesn't work. Looks like everything else might work. I saved the game before doing this because I think there might be a problem here. 0 0.005 ounces is all we got. I have reloaded the game and panned out that jar. We have these six pieces and I can't get that littlest one. I did see that I had it highlighted a couple times but I can see the crayon color now and I can grab them. It's there I had it. There it is. So we'll grab up all six pieces here and see how much gold we should have received. Pretty sure that wave table is broken. Let's first try and weigh it on the scale. It would be nice if you could weigh the jar and find out what your have to drop it first. Weigh the jar and find out what you have in it for total weight. I'm not very good at rotating things. That's very slow for me. All right. And it doesn't read. So devs, make the jar read weight of what is in the jar, please. Put it back in my hot bar. And we're off to see what this is really worth. And after a few seconds, I read the left side of the screen and remembered I had to highlight the jar. So look at there. Our total should have been 1.636 ounces, not 0 .005 ounces. So the gold table is definitely bugged. Steals gold from you. Don't use it. Cancel and we're going to go back. I'm not going to sell. I want to make it into gold bars. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with another installment in another few days.